Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. Today I bring you a very very small tutorial, but one that is really really important. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but recently, uh, unfortunately, koalas have been put on the endangered species list, uh, meaning that they are now losing numbers rapidly and we need to do something about it in order to preserve their species. And so I'm going to be spreading some awareness today by building this koala just here. And this one was actually requested by a legend by the name of V8 Supercar Fan. Thank you so much, my friend. You've been supporting the channel for a long time, and I really do appreciate your request. Um, so yeah, I thought we would tie in the request today with this new saddening news and uh, do our best to try and, I don't know, help these little guys if we can. I'm going to drop some donation links in the description, official ones of course, so if you do have any any sort of spare money that you can give to Koala Conservation and whatnot, please drop it down there. I'll be donating myself as well because it is so sad to see that these guys are, you know, really in danger now. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do something fun and build these guys today. So, I will show you around my Koala first. Of course, we have to have the, uh, the white sort of fluff <laughs> around the ears there and around the collar too and of course our koala has a big fluffy belly now i haven't named my koala so i do need your guys help if you want to go ahead and drop a name suggestion in the comments i will look through them and try and pick one for this little dude here and of course we have a little tail on the back as well so um yeah we're going to try and build this guy today and uh, get the materials ready to go let's go for it okay so to get started we will take ourselves some barriers now if you don't know how to get these do not panic you just need to open your chat window if you're on PC or console edition of Minecraft or even PE edition. Uh, get to the ch uh, the <laughs> the chung I was going to say no, the chat and commands window just here. Uh, you want to open the uh, search bar down here in the sort of typing area. Click a slash and then go ahead and write yourself give just directly after the slash. Then you put yourself at s which is going to be for yourself and then we're going to write in structure sorry barrier just after it. Now if I backspace a little bit, you can see in the left corner of the screen, it will show you what you're trying to grab here, and it's going to be a barrier. Now then, barriers, what's an important thing to remember is uh, it does say it gives you one, but it gives you infinite amounts. Um, when you're holding these, by the way, you can see the barriers, but if I am going to you know, go ahead and highlight my other materials, you cannot see the barriers. So they're a very, very invisible block, basically, which is really, really helpful for us because we're using concrete powder. And that is obviously very, very uh, annoying for gravity. Um, but uh, yeah, please remember that these can't be destroyed in survival. So if you are in survival mode, you cannot destroy these. They are like invincible. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Okay, let's go ahead and get started over here. The first thing you want to do is take your light grey concrete powder. We're going to build ourselves, I'm just going to go make sure I'm in line with the other one. Two like so. And then we're going to build a four cluster. Now we want to leave ourselves about a three block shape between them because we're trying to build the big belly <laughs> and uh, go ahead and build another foot just over here. Exactly the same as the original one, like so. Because I am a donut, I only just realized that I forgot to tell you the rest of the materials. <laughs> so after the barrier, we need some black stone walls, some light gray concrete powder, which you probably figured that part out for yourselves, <laughs> some white concrete powder and some black concrete as well. Okay, then you could build, you know, this with wool as well, that would also work. Um, but I'm sticking with concrete powder for this one, just because the texture looks very much like a koala's sort of fur. So, the next thing to do is I'm going to go to just this pillar here. This pillar? This block even? I'm going to go ahead and build myself about two blocks along, just behind the feet. And two blocks up, so another four cluster. We're going to connect them in the centre with three. And then we'll build up the sides for about... Let's go for about four blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oops. Four, like so. Then we want to go ahead and start to fill up with white concrete powder in the center. Three, five, five once more. Five for a third time. And five for a fourth time, like so. Then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves three blocks up here. Then we'll stick ourselves uh, another two blocks of concrete powder, light gray. And then we'll do a block here and a block here, like so, but leaving... Ah, no, actually, we'll fill this middle one in. Why not? If you now want to stick yourself three barriers in front of the white concrete powder, then you can stick light grey above those, and then it will be for the chin and the head of our koala up there. Wicked. Now we need to go around the corner and start to venture off this way and get everything done around here. So we're going to come out three blocks. One, two, three, from the actual body, and the same on both sides. Then we'll go ahead and sort of finish up the back with just a line 
uh, which is going to be about seven blocks I think yeah in length like so we also want to build this up to the same height as um, this block yeah we'll go to this one so that's two layers three four five six and seven and the same over here all the way up to the seven blocks in height because then we can work with our collar uh, and the white concrete powder to make the collar did you know you probably didn't know this but if you didn't here's a fact for you <laughs> um, koalas actually eat eucalyptus uh, leaves so they kind of actually get the gum from the leaves and uh, that is what they eat did you also know that koalas are the closest relatives to the wombat which is really interesting because when I was in Australia um, we got to stroke some koalas which was incredible such an experience but we had to use the the back of our hand because the oils on the palm of our hands can be very toxic to koalas um, but um, we also got to strike some wombats whilst we were there and uh, there was no precautions with that type of thing you know involved or anything so it's really interesting that these animals are very very closely related but yet yeah, you know their wombats are kind of immune to certain things that koalas aren't uh, so although they are a bear they are very very like cute and cuddly bears <laughs> I would say okay let's crack on with the rest of the build so we need to go down here if you actually want to fill up this three and this three with black concrete just because then you don't like drop in loads of concrete powder into the structure and just waste a load of time we're going to stick ourselves one block of white just here on both sides and then we'll do two white on top of the gray out on both sides we then want to go ahead and build an entire row of seven back here with our white concrete powder but then we're going to overhang the five blocks in the center of the seven put some barriers on the uh, light gray section and then put some white concrete powder above them like so now then the next thing to do is to drop down to the base find that middle block of seven go ahead and go two blocks up with your white concrete powder a block here and a block here so sorry guys we've had literally like every single noise possible in this video <laughs> we, I literally live like in a town that's heavily navy so you can probably hear the helicopters and planes and whatnot in videos but then I also live next to a main road so you can hear the ambulances and police cars and all that type of thing so you probably can hear a lot <laughs> in the background of videos <laughs> I hope it's not too distracting but yeah let's crack on with the rest so if you want to fill up these two as well just so you don't get confused feel free to do so as you can see starting like a koala we can next take ourselves light grey concrete powder again go to these blocks here these three and we want to go ahead and layer them with two layers of light grey just like this then we'll do two on both sides and then a final one on both of them like so oh did you get a sneak preview of a new tutorial oh, I think you did <laughs> it's all good so now we're going to come to the very very back and we'll do two rows of five back here remember this is going to overhang the body but not to worry that's perfect then we want to come to the middle three and build them up for two like so as you can see we're trying to make the 3d shape that a koala does have of course for their head so um, we're trying to build this very unique bear let's go ahead and build one two three four blocks of light gray in here on both sides then we'll go back to placing a black concrete just here and just here so then we can stick a light gray on top so it folds over from the outside and makes it look very very clean stick another light gray on top of those stick another black concrete in this gap here and in this gap here and then fold over your light gray again like so now we'll come around to the oh let's go ahead and fill this on so let's just do three black concretes in there and then light gray concrete powder on top now we'll head back around to the front and we want to go ahead and sort of build up from the chin so we're going to stick ourselves three blocks of light gray there a barrier besides it uh, no actually we'll do a barrier below these ones yeah just next to these ones that would make sense and then we can do a row of five on top of the three basically like that cool then we'll go ahead and do ourselves another row of five and then we'll do ourselves one block here and one block here then a block in the center black concrete here and here for the eyes and then we'll do two out on the front like so for the nose then we'll do ourselves three across the top for our head and then we want to come back here and we're going to try and build the structure of our koala as you can see just by the face there we're going to take this one and we're going to go up so we go two blocks past the head oops my mistake 
like so. The same with this one over here, all the way up and then two blocks past, like that. On this block here, stick yourself a barrier, so that's in line with the eyes, and then two blocks of grey on top of that, like so. Then as you can see, we're starting to build the shape in, so we need to kind of get this to come back now just to the right level, and it's going to be in line with these. We'll build black concrete here and here, and level up with the uh, grey. And then we want to try and get it in here, but this is awkward because we can't put any on this uh, this white um, block just here. We need to do it just underneath as you can see. So we're going to come ahead and build a black concrete next to the white concrete powder. And then we'll do grey up to the top. Like so. Awesome. You don't technically, te <laughs> you don't technically have to connect them at the top there, that is up to you guys if you want to, because we actually do use ourselves some white concrete powder in a second. So, you know, worst case scenario, you can just use that. I'm going to stick myself a barrier just here, so just behind that one, and one just here. Then I can stick myself white all the way up and past the two, two there, two here, and build up from that barrier just there, like so. So we should have a shape like this. We still need two out from the side here. So we'll do a barrier just there. And here, of course. One, two, and then this side, one, two, like so. We still have a slight gap up here. Let's do one more line of uh, black concrete here, and then we'll build in that shape there to match with the white. And then we'll just go down next to the eyes, build three in there, and then finish it up with some gray just there. Awesome, that is it for the actual koala's body. We, of course, need to add in the arms. Let's go for it. So I was just trying to find some more koala facts, and I actually found that they can live up to 13 years, uh, or 18 years in captivity. That is incredible. So they can live basically all the way through our childhood, and uh, and then in captivity all the way up to adulthood, which is amazing. So um, yeah, that is a pretty cool fact. Let's go down here, and let's take our barriers. We'll go to the one, two, three, fourth block up here, and we want to place a barrier just here. That should leave you with three above, three greys above. We'll do ourselves another barrier to the left of that one, and then one here, and one out from the body. We also want to go to the other side round here, and we're going to build a similar arm, as you can tell, just over there. We'll get onto that in a moment though. Okay, let's take our grey, let's go ahead and build a box up here, so four. Then we'll do another four, and then we want to connect them by two here. So let's add in another barrier, and then we'll do two just there. Then we want to go ahead and build diagonally from this one up to the left. So this gets a bit weird, so definitely stay tuned. We want to go ahead and stick a temporary black concrete block here, a barrier to the left of it, and then we'll do ourselves our greys just here, like so. Then we knock off that temp, and you should be left with a shape like that. Cool, I know it looks odd at the moment, but once it's got the claws on there, it'll look pretty good. Are they claws? I don't really know the name of them. I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and move on to the other arm. So around here, this one's pretty simple. We'll go one, two, three, and on four again, building two barriers like so, then a third one out from the body. Then we'll do ourselves two layers of light gray, stacked out just like so. So pretty, pretty simple. And there we go. The final thing to do is to take ourselves our blackstone wall, and we're going to go ahead and use these on the koala to make the little claws like I was on about. These are the things that help them to climb the trees and also stay you know, up top on those trees because some <laughs> the eucalyptus plants are very, very flimsy and fragile and whatnot. And so, you know, they need a lot of grip where they can get it. Let's go ahead and stick two just here, two just there, uh, another two over here, but don't stick them in this gap here. You can do, of course, but personally, I think it looks better without. Then we'll stick ourselves two on the feet down here and two on this foot over here. There we go. There we have ourselves a koala built in Minecraft. Well, there you go, guys. That is how to build a koala in Minecraft. Thank you so much once again to my good friend uh, V8. Thank you so much for the request, mate. I really do appreciate that. Uh, it was awesome to build this little guy, and I really hope that uh, this can, I don't know, do something for koala conservation or, I don't know, just be a symbol of it or something. Um, it is really important to to save species and especially in our lifetime because the earth you know been changing so dramatically over the past few years and uh, with the increasing number of bushfires and whatnot habitats for the koalas 
are being destroyed and it's really saddening i mean koalas have been well i mean they're, they're a mascot for australia basically so um we really must do all we can to save them and like i said if you guys do have any spare change i really know it's a lot to ask um, but if you would like to donate please check out the official links in the description below but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, one last fact for you all today. Uh, did you know that koalas are the only uh, species in Australia that live in trees and don't have a tail? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Well, the only uh, tree-dwelling species without a tail. I think it was something like that. <laughs> I read a thing in it, and it was kind of like, it was saying this in one sentence, and then it was saying like the same thing, but in a different wording and a different sentence. So I was a bit confused. But I hope it's something like that. <laughs> I'll drop some extra facts in the description too. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you all so much. Take care of yourselves. If you see any koalas in trouble, take care of them too. And uh, yeah, goodbye for now, assassins. Thank you so much. Oh, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed. And please remember to subscribe if you're new around here and you'd be interested in more of my crazy tutorials and whatnot. Take care of yourselves. Social medias are in the description too. And I'm going to head off because I keep forgetting everything. It's probably going to get a lot worse. So let's, <laughs> let's go whilst we're ahead. Take care of yourself, guys. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much.